Hey what's up guys Faisal here and welcome back to another video on our channel Billion Dollar iTech. In today's video we will go through 5 extremely useful tips for Excel. If you guys are interested let's get started. So in tip number 1 you guys can see we have 4 different completely blank rows in this particular Excel sheet. So just imagine if this data has more than 1000 records and you will need to find out those particular rows that are completely blank and you will need to delete them manually one by one. Well there is a way to do it automatically. So let's jump into it. All we need to do is focus on those rows that are completely blank. There are some cells that are blank but we are not gonna delete these cells. We will only delete these rows. So first thing first we do is we'll create a new column. Let's name it assist. Once you created the column, now we'll apply the formula. Press equal count A formula. Open the brackets. Now what we'll do is we'll select the values. We'll select the first row. What this formula is going to tell us how many cells are occupied from this particular row. So close the bracket and press enter. As you guys can see, there are four different cells and all of them are occupied with some sort of values, right? So now what we'll do is we'll apply this particular formula to the rest of the rows. So select this particular cell, which we have applied the formula and drag it all the way down. Okay, now we have different numbers. So we can see in second row over here, we have three cells that have values, right? And one cell is empty similarly this particular row has no values at all so it's zero now the next thing we'll do is apply some filtering over here so all you need to do is press ctrl shift L you will see this filter will appear click on the drop down arrow now deselect all of them and select zero close this particular filter now we can see all those empty rows are filtered separately now imagine if this is 1000 records it will be very easy for you to completely filter them and delete all these empty rows so this is what we're gonna do select these rows right click and click delete row press ok now press on this filtering again we'll select all close this now you guys can see those blank rows are completely removed from this particular file once you have done your work, the next step is you can simply delete this particular column. That's all. Hola. This was the tip number one. In tip number two, I will show you guys how to create integrated graphs in the cells. So as you guys can see on the left side, I have sales record from July until October. And then what I've done is over here, created a column graph in one column. And in second column, I've created a line graph. Usually you guys have seen the graphs are separate, but in this tip, we'll see how to create these particular graphs within the cell itself to see the progress. So let's get started from this column. So the first thing we'll do is over here, click on insert. You will find this particular option over here. It's called spark lines. Click on spark lines. Now you have three different types of graphs that you can create within the cell. So first graph that we'll create is the column graph. Select a date range. So from here we'll select the values. What we'll do is our values are over here from June 50 until October. We have selected the values. Now select where to place these spark lines. In the second we have already selected this particular part. That means the graphs will appear over here. Click OK. So you guys can see the selected sales values and the graph of that particular sales value. So the next step is we will apply a line graph. Similarly, we will go to the insert. We'll click on spark lines. Now we'll click on line. Now let's select the sales record over here from June to October. Now we'll give it a destination. The destination, the graph line will appear over here. Click OK. Now you guys can see that we have created the first row of column graph and line graph. So what we'll do is we apply this particular graph to rest of the data. Select and drag and drop it. Similarly, select the line graph and drag and drop it. So we have now column graph and line graph over here. In tip number three, I'll show you guys how to create 
two headings in one particular cell for this particular row and this particular column while creating a diagonal line in that particular cell so what we will do is select one particular area where you want to input your data now let's apply border once done we'll increase the size of this particular row right click on the cell click on format cell over here click on border click on this diagonal line click ok so you guys can see we have something like this over here so now let's type in the two different headings click on the cell type the heading month now press halt and enter within the same cell we'll type another heading once done let's increase the size of the font now double click on this particular cell and apply space click ok now adjust the size of this particular column now you guys can see this is how we will apply two different headings in one particular cell for the row and for the column itself now let's move to the tip number four one of the tedious job is to delete the duplicate records right so in tip number four i will show you guys how to delete the duplicate records in our case c column has duplicate records so what we'll do is click on conditional formatting click on highlight cell rules then click on duplicate values here we will leave rest as it is in the format width we can change the color that the duplicate values we can highlight with i will leave it as red click ok so now you can see in column c we have a lot of duplicate values now how do we delete all these duplicate values what we will do is we will apply filter on this particular column press ctrl shift l you guys can see we have this drop down filtering press that button we will filter by color cell color which contains red and we can see all the duplicate values are filtered automatically now what we can do is we will select these duplicate values right click and we'll click on delete rows click ok that's all we have deleted the duplicate values now click back on this filter select all this is how we will delete all duplicate values from a column now let's move on to the tip number five in tip number five i'll show you guys how to add a watermark in such case if you have a confidential information so let's click on the view then click on page layout here i will show you guys how to add a watermark on all these pages now let's click on insert then click on insert word art you can choose any of this format so let's select this one let's type the watermark we can bring it to the center rotate it now right click on it click on format shape then then click on text options over here we will increase the transparency to 95 percent you will notice the text is fading now let's change the transparency of text outline as well i think 60 percent is right so if you type something over here we can see the text is clearly seen now the next step is to copy this particular watermark to the other pages so we can copy it and paste it over here and then we can adjust it accordingly and so on we can duplicate it to multiple pages so i hope you guys like this video if you guys find this video informative give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel i'm your host Faisal. until then peace